American history to the time of the Civil War. At that moment in history, there were those who considered black people to be not only inferior to white people, but almost subhuman. How then can you connect with people who automatically dehumanize you? By showing them people in your position who look like them. This was the concept behind the campaign promoting the white slave children of Louisiana. On January the 1st, 1863, the US President Abraham Lincoln declared the Emancipation Proclamation, thus declaring free approximately 3 million enslaved people. However, the proclamation exempted the loyal border states that remained in the Union, and the Confederate states controlled by the Union Army. By 1863, there were 95 schools for free black people in Louisiana, in areas controlled by the Union Army. Over 9,500 black and Afro-descendant children and adults received an education at these schools, which came at a great cost. In order to raise funds to keep the schools going, the National Freedmen's Association, the American Missionary Association and union officers embarked on a publicity campaign. As a ploy to engage sympathy from the public and encourage them to donate, they sold a series of CDV photographs of light-skinned, white, European-looking, formerly enslaved children juxtaposed with dark-skinned ex-slaves with African features. In total, eight emancipated slaves participated in the publicity tour, five children and three adults. Four of the children were extremely light-skinned and appeared white, Charles, Rebecca, Roshina and Augusta. The fifth child, Isaac, and the three adults, Wilson, Mary and Robert, were black with African features. Some of the adults bore signs of mistreatment. Wilson had the initials of his former slave master branded onto his head, and Mary's arms and back were covered in scars, a punishment for being 30 minutes late in bringing her former master a cup of coffee. Rebecca, one of the white children, had been a slave in her own father's house, who was also her master. Augusta had also been owned by a family member. Charles had been sold twice, once by his own father. The only dark-skinned child, Isaac, was noted as having been in school for the past seven months and having excelled and proven himself to be of great intelligence and ability. As well as being photographed for the cards that were sold, the group also travelled from New Orleans to the north. The cards were sold for 25 cents each, and the money raised went towards educating freedmen in Louisiana. Of the original series of prints, there are at least 22 that still exist to this day. And now you know the story of the so-called white slave children of Louisiana. Don't forget to check out the other videos in the series, and find me on Instagram at Freedom Is Mine Official for a daily dose of black history. Freedom.